everyone, I'm Rose. I'm an occupational therapist student and I'm here to talk to you about kindergarten readiness again. And today I am going to be focusing on pre-writing skills. So the pre-writing skills are the base for most children to develop to be able to write. Pre-writing skills allow the children to hold their writing utensil, enable them to copy, write, draw, and color. Pre-writing skills are shown through drawing shapes. So these shapes are what is the start of most letters and numbers. Drawing these shapes is typically developed in a specific order and at a specific age. These shapes include, so we start with a straight line down and then a horizontal line, a circle, a cross, and then we go down to a square at four years. And then we go to a diagonal lines and then we make an X at four years and 11 months. And then the last one shape for pre-writing skills is the triangle. So pre-writing skills are very essential for kindergarten readiness as it allows your child to hold the writing utensil correctly, move the pencil or writing utensil in a fluid motion, have legible writing, when these skills are not fully developed, it can cause the child to either have bad behaviors in school, or refuse to write or color. So pre-writing skills have a lot of aspects to them, which is why it's really important to practice with your child in many different ways to improve these skills. Some of these skills include hand and finger strength, um, using the tripod grasp, hand-eye coordination, bilateral integration, which is where you use both hands at the same time, one to hold the paper and one to write with. Um, upper body stability, because you can't use fine motor skills if you don't have the upper body strength. Um, visual perception, which is your brain's ability to make sense of visual images, and such as shapes and letters. And then the last one is tool manipulation, which is them using the pencil or writing utensil. So one activity that I am going to show you today, which is really fun to use with your child, is using shaving cream. And you, when you start, you can tell your child to just start with their fingers. So you want them to make certain shapes. So start with going down, straight down, straight down, and then you can have them go across, crosses, all the pre-writing shapes. And then once they get pretty comfortable using their finger, um, a good idea is to use a writing utensil, so I just have a highlighter right here. I'm just going to keep the lid on and utensil in the tripod grasp. So using the two on top and the thumb. Okay, so some other easy, fun activities that you can do with your child to start pre-writing skills and improve them is to use Play-Doh. So Play-Doh will help your child increase hand strength and also in your in-hand manipulation being able to move items and finger strength as well. So you can have them squeeze it to increase hand strength, roll it up, pinch it off is another great one. So that way you're getting the pincher fingers or the tripod grasp, which, which is important for writing skills. And then roll it up into a ball and squeeze it down. All things are great to have your child do and just play around with Play-Doh in general. So another one is to have them open up bottles and other lids and containers because you're also increasing that grasp and improving the finger strength. So having them twist off lids. So we're just gonna start by cutting off parts of our straw, straws little parts like this so after we have all our straws cut we're going to start placing them on the outline of the cat and gluing them down And you can have your child help with this too because it is also great fine motor skills to be able to pick up these straws and hand strength for the glue.
for using the glue. So you do want to leave a little space in between the straws, that way they can thread through it. Okay, so now that we have all the straws glued onto the cat, we just need to let it dry. Okay, so now that our cat is dry, we can have our child grab a pipe cleaner and their goal is to thread through the straws. And so what this will be working on is the pincher fingers, as I said before, and also hand-eye coordination to get it through the straws. Okay, thank you everyone. I hope you guys learned something about pre-writing skills and kindergarten readiness. Okay, bye.